Hey everyone, my name is Junhua, and today I will talk about Google's network instrumentation system called Fathom, which is designed for understanding the network performance of data center applications. So why do we need Fathom? Although most Google services use RPCs, we have not grappled with a fundamental challenge. Lack of comprehensive visibility into RPC performance in network stacks. This deficiency has made it challenging to analyze and troubleshoot RPC network performance issues. So to illustrate this limitation, let's consider Google's large-scale tracing system, Dapper. So Dapper treats the network stack as a black box, and the time spent in the network is calculated from when a request is issued at the client until the response is received from the server. Unfortunately, this simplified view often attributes high RPC latency to the network, disregarding the many other critical layers within the network stack, including TCP, rate limiter, pacing, and NIC. And each layer is critical for determining RPC's network performance. And this lack of visibility can cause significant delays in troubleshooting performance issues and an incomplete understanding of network infrastructure performance. So to address this problem, we've developed Fathom, a detailed network in instrumentation system with wide coverage, no, over no operational overhead, and high accuracy. Deployed for over five years, Fathom has become Google's primary tool for troubleshooting RPC network issues and evaluating the impact of network infrastructure changes. So what exactly does Fathom gather? As described earlier, the network stack has multiple layers, each with significant impact on RPC's performance. Thus, Fathom passively collects high-resolution kernel timestamps across each of those layers for each RPC and calculates the latency spent at each layer by measuring the time difference. Additionally, alongside each kernel timestamp, Fathom captures a snapshot of TCP connection statistics including congestion window, delivery rate, recurring timeout, etc. And those statistics can help identify performance issues. For example, they can differentiate between RPCs limited by receiver's window size and those constrained by applications that simply don't have enough data to send. And by collecting those two types of performance data, we get a very detailed view of what RPCs experience in the network stack for analyzing their performance. So FASM is meticulously designed to offer comprehensive coverage across our entire fleet while keeping operational overhead low and maintaining high accuracy. So how does it accomplish those goals? First, FASM uses passive monitoring without introducing any interference or extra delays to the production services. And secondly, FASM focuses on individual RPCs instead of more expensive connection or packet, and applies RPC-based sampling with fixed yet user-configurable sampling rate. And furthermore, to, effect to effectively manage the wealth of information without overwhelming our storage system, Fathom policies the power of T-Digest, a probabilistic approach that enables us to aggregate big data efficiently. And unlike traditional methods like histogram, T-Digest offers several advantages. It facilitates the seamless merging of multiple distributions, eliminates the need for finely tuned bin sizes, achieves remarkable accuracy for quantile estimation, and it does all those with minimum storage overhead. And with those techniques, Python is able to satisfy the key requirements. So now let's dive into the high-level design of Fathom and its core components. So Fathom collects timestamps and TCP connection statistics as RPCs travel through different layers within the network stack. To support different types of analysis, Fathom applies two distinct sampling rates, each accompanied by a specific set of performance metrics. So for real-time uh, real performance dashboard and alert, 
Python samples one out of every 1,000 RPCs, gathering 10 performance metrics for each. And for detailed in-depth analysis of individual RPCs, Python samples only one out of every 128,000 RPCs. And each of those samples contains a rich set of 40 performance metrics, allowing users to thoroughly investigate the performance of a single RPC with our tracing UI. Furthermore, Fathom effectively, efficiently aggregate those detailed samples using T-Digest. And this aggregated data is used for performance analysis, for fleet-wide analysis, and evaluating the impact of network infrastructure changes. Now let's look at a practical example to see the use of the aggregated data. In this example, we analyze the performance of RPCs from a monitoring service called Monarch. And this service was hosted in a data center with different NIC speeds. And within, seven, uh, within three days, Fathom sampled over a million RPCs for Monarch and aggregated them into around 50K, K D digest. When visualizing those T digests in a 3D Three dimensional space defined by receiver queuing latency, delivery rate, and round trip time, we obtained four distinct blobs, each occupying a unique location within this space. And digging deeper, we analyzed the categorical attributes associated with those RPCs within each of those blobs and uncovered two distinct attributes the client type and NIC speed. For instance, in this plot, the green and orange blobs on the right belongs to the same client, client B. But RPCs in the green blob were running on top of fast speed NICs, where RPCs in the orange blob were running on top of slow speed NICs. And additionally, the persistent high receiver queue latency experienced by client B, as demonstrated in the receiver queue latency axis on this plot, suggested performance constraints on snow receiver, likely due to exhausted CPU and memory resources. And this discovery inspired us to model bottleneck constraints experienced by applications with multidimensional Gaussian mixture models. And it offers two primary advantages as this example demonstrates. Firstly, it signified a substantial dimension reduction from 50K T-Digest to just four distinct blobs. And secondly, even within those four blobs, we were able to effectively characterize our PCs based on their performance metrics and categorical attributes. And this level of interpretability enhances our capacity to gain insight from the data, offering a promising avenue for further analysis and improvement. So finally, let's look at impact and lesson learned. So over the past five years, Python has been widely used in Google to evaluate and troubleshoot RPC performance. Our experience with Python has yielded several insights. Firstly, Python has been designed to address needs and to scale. It focuses on RPCs with lightweight and precise network instrumentation, which allows it to seamlessly accommodate the ever-growing traffic volumes in our data centers. And secondly, throughout those years, we have continuously improved Fathom's usability by introducing new components into the system. As a result, Fathom now offers high-level annotations that pinpoint performance bottlenecks, as well as detailed visibility into individual RPCs. And furthermore, during our fleet-wide analysis, we realized the prevalence of Simpson's paradox in large performance data, where aggregate statistics can differ significantly from individual behaviors, potentially concealing subtle yet critical trends. Such disparities can lead to incomplete or even misleading conclusions for performance analysis. For concrete examples, I encourage you to explore more details in our paper. And thanks for your attention. Please don't hesitate to reach out through emails if you need additional information or have any questions. Thank you.